Praise the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. I apologize for the little second when there was nobody. I had to turn the camera on. Don't have a, someone doing the camera tonight. Not very many showed out tonight because of the storms, but we're still having the service. We're going to have a little prayer meeting, everybody watching. So just enter in into his presence and let him touch you. Just let God just pour his spirit out all upon you. Glory. Hallelujah. And, uh, Ooh, I do feel God now. Amen. God gave me some prophecies this week, and, and I posted them on Facebook. I'm going to share that just a little bit before we go into praise and worship, and I'm going to share a little bit of a little message, and then we're going to have some little prayer time, so we uh, just draw people in through prayer. But God was telling me about Chapin, South Carolina. So anybody that's watching or listening from Chapin, South Carolina, you uh, grab a hold of this. God said he was going to do a work in Chapin, South Carolina. And he, he showed me a river running through the middle of Chapin, South Carolina. And it was going to be out of his banks. It's going to overflow out of his banks. He's going to do a work in Chapin, South Carolina. He's just going to do a move. And uh, he showed me the importance of what he was... The, the main focus is a deliverance. But he's going to... Uh, be a father to the fatherless and my, uh, men, the brokenhearted. And I see like there's some females that uh, abused their father, abused them really bad. You know, even throughout their very young, they was abused and they're really brokenhearted and they've been mistreated bad. So God's going to do a work in the females in Chapin, South Carolina, and he's going to uh, mend them up. He's going to... Uh, be a father to them that they people that's never had a father and he's just going to do work there in South Carolina he's going to pour his spirit out his glory is going to flow in whoo, glory hallelujah Chapin South Carolina and God said it's going to move over to Georgia it's going to move over to Georgia it's going to hit Georgia a river will flow through Georgia God's going to do work in Georgia too and that was the specific words that he gave me and he said he was doing the work and what he's about ready to do is just going to we, we think what God did in the 90s was something with the Toronto Blessing and Brownsville Revival and Smith and Outpouring and all these revivals that broke out in the 90s. We think that's something, but what God is doing now, it's that the ni early 90s will be failed in comparison to what God is doing now. He's going to pour his spirit out so strong. I feel that. Amen. And he said, watch what he do. What he, God specifically told me to watch what he does in Chapin, South Carolina, and in Georgia. Watch watch and see what he will do. He will prove the doubters wrong, and he, they will get born again. Amen. He said, watch what he does this hour, this day. That's what he said now. Amen. So he's pouring out his spirit in a powerful way. I pray that everyone can hear me that's listening in this huge audience. <laughs> He's picking my pain there, brother. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, one day it's going to be filled. Amen. God's going to do work. I'm going to read a little bit. Uh, next week I'm going to read some more out of this. If anybody that's... I, I encourage you to get by this book. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it's, uh, it's by Dutch Sheets and Chuck Pierce. It's, it's called Releasing the Prophetic Destiny of a Nation. Discovering how your future can be greater than your past. But the title is Releasing the Prophetic Destiny of a Nation. I haven't read all of it, but it's got a prophecy in here about Kentucky, but it's got prophecies in here about every state where they did a 50-state tour conference themed. The trumpet has sounded. It's time to run with the horses. And uh, I encourage you to get it. We don't sell a revival with your church. So I'm not like I'm going to get anything from this, but I, I encourage you to get this. It's just really good. Talk to you to give a little history about the uh, state of Kentucky. But God has given me uh, words about Kentucky. I'm trying to get this so I can read this. Sorry everybody listening here to rattling, but I had to get this moved so I can read it. So there's numerous words are spoken over Kentucky, and it's mentioned the, the names. And to give a, I'll read a little bit more later on. But God's going to, uh, 
So God is about to do a new thing to unlock the future of Kentucky. This will be a region known for the dismantling of ancient thrones that have been erected. A supernatural confession will arise from the government. We must prophesy over the government in Kentucky as men attempt to change righteous laws. The outcry and resistance from Kentucky will be seen throughout the nation and will cause a remnant from every state to rise in agreement with Kentucky. The government anointing in this state will be carried to Washington, D.C. I'm just reading what they're prophesying in here. These, this is not my prophecies. God's given me this is the prophecies from uh, Chuck Pierce gave and others in the meeting. But God did give me a prophecy about that. God sent uh, prophets to the center. God said that I'm changing, changing the horizon line over this nation and I'm starting here in Kentucky. So Chuck then spoke about a time frame it talks about and the worship will be the key in Kentucky and exposing hidden things and causing the enemy to lose his hold. The seers anointing will be loosed in Kentucky along with great revelation. There's another that God is going to bring a new order to this state which will cause both the land and the church to flourish. Uh, Lexington is a stable for the war horses from here, the horses will be released across the nation. Get ready. I'm calling you to war like you cannot imagine. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. There's a lot of good prophecies. I'll read more of this next Sunday. But uh, God's given me a lot of words about Kentucky, too. And I believe it's, uh, the biggest bulk of revival is going to start in Kentucky. So uh, God said he's going to raise up revival stations and he told me three three cities in Kentucky and uh, when he was in Louisville here a couple of years ago, he mentioned some of those cities and he said then the same thing, God was going to basically raise up revival stations. He called it something else, but that's basically what these are going to be, portals of these churches are going to be in revival. So kind of God you want to pray for, praise the Lord, hallelujah. God is good, so come on out. We're at uh, Comfort Suites in LaGrange, Kentucky. We meet uh, every Sunday night. We're here regardless of the weather. We started early tonight, so we can get out, Lord. We're always here. We'll come out at Sunday school. Is at 5.30. Church starts at 6.30. Every Sunday night, so we'll come out. Revival is here, church. We'll be at Comfort Suites in LaGrange, Kentucky. If you need a room, you can call them up and uh, say, hey, I need a room. And say, Pastor Chan told me to call. So they might even try to work out, give you some good rates if you're from way off or if you're here locally and you're worried about the weather or uh, get afraid you're going to get drunk and Holy Ghost won't go make it home and get your room. I just wanted to share that. And uh, if you want to donate, you can go to donate.revivalisir.org. Remember, go to revivalisir.org to watch the videos and listen to prayer. I mean, listen to the podcast and put in your prayer request on there. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. I feel God. I really do. I really feel God strong. God is here. God, bring them in. So, uh, we have a TV program. We might soon expand it to the over the air pro channel here in Louisville to get more people in. I'm going to email them, see what I can get with that. But we are broadcasting in Pakistan now. They got the DVDs. So we're broadcasting in Pakistan. So I'm excited about that. God, what God is doing here in LaGrange, Kentucky, in this, you know, this Kentucky area is going around the world. It's in Pakistan. Christians and Muslims are watching the services from here in LaGrange, Kentucky, Comfort Suites, Revival Church. God. So uh, I believe that we're, gonna, we're reaping the harvest of thousands, even though it's kind of limited right here. We're, we're, it's really reaching over there. So uh, I'm really excited about that. I really am. Prayer line number has been ported over. We got, we did use Skype. It wasn't what we needed. We went to another company. It's for business, and it was ported over. They Skype doesn't officially support porting numbers. I really wanted to keep that number because it's been it's out. You know, everybody has it. So we got to keep the number. The number is ported over. It was, we, it's already it's already in the new company. So I have set up a menu. So when you call the number, a menu will come up with my voice. I pray the anointing hits someone to hear it. 
and uh, you can hit one at the care venue as you hit one to go to the prayer line. You hit two, and I recorded the time and directions. So they get two and hear that from the just over the phone. So um, we can have extensions and whatever. You can even add 800 numbers. And like we're broadcasting in Pakistan, we could add a number that's in Pakistan that they can call that we can get to call. Amen. From different countries. So we can add that through, a, it will cost money so in the future when it grows. But, uh, so that's really good. It's Amen. really good. So we get, you know, just reap a harvest. Yeah. So I just want to praise God for that. I just want to announce that at our huge uh, packed out uh, congregation here tonight. <laughs> a lot of people here in the spirit tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, people listening. So it's good that we just go through that and have the service, you know. That's right. Amen. And God told me tonight to go. I said, if I had to, you know, work when it was bad weather, I would be there. So who did I put, you know, work and money before God? So I'm here. So we have the church service. You know, people's walking past. They can welcome to come in and let God hit them and hit them and heal them and just love on them and get them drunk in the Holy Ghost and everything. They've been drunk all night in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And uh, so that's good. I mean, people have crawled out of the, the you know, of the service and be drunk in the Holy Ghost all night. A lot of testimonies of healings. Sister, uh, she's still healed. Her knee is still healed. No popping and nothing. And uh, been many good testimonies. So you just grab a hold of it and just let God touch you. We're going to have a praise and worship time here now and uh, in this huge uh, congregation tonight. So it's going to be loud because we got a lot of people here. But <laughs> let's worship God and have a little message afterwards and we're going to have a little prayer service. This is all about praising God and showing Him how much we love Him. Bear with us watching and listening. And Listen and watch them. We still let the Holy Ghost hit you. <laughs> there we go. What we get it now? My apologies. Here we go.
the way that Mike was marking the first part of it. <laughs>
I am declared that these seats will be filled in the name of Jesus. Glory to <clears> God. <throat> I didn't mention the prayer line number, but it's 502-365-5791. You can call that, like I told you, in the new system. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I want to share, uh, share a little bit about praying. It's in Luke uh, 22, it talks about, in 4, verse 46, it says, I say to, and uh, say unto them, and I said unto them, I'm sorry, I get the Holy Ghost inside. God, hard And I said unto them, Why sleep ye, rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And let me bring this up into the New King James is what I like to read. And then he said to them, I said, well, he's a reading. Why do you sleep, rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And it's important to pray. And it talks about a lot of prayer. Jesus uh, preached a lot about prayer. And it's important to pray. It's talking about watch and pray. And it's important to, uh, and then, like he said, pray that you uh, want to enter into temptation. And it's very, very important to just to uh, get into intercession and prayer and to uh, just um, go to the throne room of God and uh, just to uh, intercede and to uh, bring in lost souls and to uh, bring your petitions and make them known. It says when you're born again, you can boldly go to the throne room of God. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. And that's important that we just pray and pray in the Holy Spirit. I pray in the Holy Spirit all the time. I mean, I, all the time I pray in the Holy Spirit. And this verse 40 it says, Pray that you enter not into temptation in uh, Luke 22. And it talks about watching and praying. And it's important that we, uh, like it was important that the disciples, they, they watch Jesus. And one reason I think... Uh, that he called them and told them to come with him the, the ones he did when he was praying that so they could watch him and they could see how he prayed and other people in turn watch them and see and see how you pray and to see how you just flow with that anointing you don't copy them but you watch them and see how they and it's important to watch these men of God and to uh, just to uh, watch them and you know and don't copy them but watch them and just to hang around them let the anointing just fall and they hung around them. Jesus and they watched him and they, they watched him and they fell asleep and he you know they shouldn't have but they was watching him pray and intercede and it's important to uh, watch these people of God men and women of God and to uh, not to copy them but to learn to learn from them and that's one good uh, one of the reports that God put on my heart this week to share and you know somebody watching that might got something from that. But, uh, and it's important to pray and to and not to be shy when you pray, but be loud. You know, you at work sometimes you can't get loud, but, some, you know, be loud. You're going to war, you got, you got to be loud. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I just wanted to share that about prayer. And we're going to get in some prayer time here. And, uh, Pray and you might get back into some messages. I don't know, but ain't a lot of people here, so we're gonna you know to turn it off. Oh yeah. And uh, so we're gonna pray, and I just want to share that if it's okay with you, brother Scott. I just want to share that. Amen. And, and uh, just everybody, just pray. This when this time, just pray and pray along with us, and uh, just flow in the Holy Spirit. And pray. I, I don't have to walk around, so I'm gonna probably walk around and pray and lay hands on these seats and. Call in the harvest. Y'all bring in with me, watching and listening. Glory, hallelujah.
calling in the harvest in the name of Jesus into this place. Calling in the harvest. The lost souls come in, God, and you touch them and heal them, God. And you mend the broken hearts, God. And your children to come together. Glory, Lord. hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. We men will be calling hearts, God, in the name of Jesus. And seeking your face. free, God, in the name of Jesus. You will love on them, God. You'll show them. Father. How much you love on God in the name of Jesus. We in the world come to you. Thank you, Jesus. And seek your face. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go boldly before the throne. Lord, and bring to you our needs. And we pray for Lord, them Hallelujah. Feel these seats up. That they may come Jesus. and they can hear feel these seats with their eyes seats. and their ears. That they can feel these seats. Feel and these ready. seats. Feel these seats. God, in the name of Jesus. God, hungry souls. In the name of Jesus. Hungry people, hungry souls, God. And you'll touch them and you'll heal them. And you just uh, set them free, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank Lord, hallelujah. You just set them free, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you just set them free. In the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus. You just set the law. Man, the broken heart of God, even in South Carolina, in your spirit. And you be open. God, in the name of Jesus. You're man, the broken heart. And those that are watching us, in the name of Jesus. Let them be touched in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let them be filled with your spirit, Father. And it's what gives a Christian their strength. In the name of Jesus. And it's how we have communion directly with you, Father. Oh, we maintain a relationship with you. Oh, Only hallelujah. through being filled with the Spirit oh, will hallelujah. that be attained. Oh, and hallelujah. we have to open ourselves to that. So that we can pray. And then you can pray through the name of Jesus. Bring the lost souls in the name of Jesus. Bring the lost souls in the name of Jesus. Bring the lost souls in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bring the lost souls in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heal the name of the broken heart of God in the name of Jesus. We declare harvest to come into this place. We declare a breakthrough in this area. This area. We declare a breakthrough in this whole area, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare a breakthrough in this area. And you're sacrifice. We rebuke the spirit of religion, Jezebel spirit, the Python spirit in this area. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. To act in your name. To act in your name. And to be spirit filled. And to promise by example, Father. In the name of Jesus. And let this go forth and open God, the eyes and Jesus, and bring in the harvest, God. Let their spiritual ears be God. Let their spiritual eyes be opened up. Let them God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray these things. Lord, hallelujah. Touch these lives, Father. Open their hearts. Lord, hallelujah. We are in such a wicked time. Lord, when people are so close, they're afraid. Lord, everybody that's watching this is great. The Lord, is not Lord. there. Unless we as Christians God, bring it in. Your spirit out, God. We bring it in to this heaven. whole area. We declare a revival in this area. We bring it in. In your name, Jesus. We bring it in. Bring it in for God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Bring even the just blessed oh. people. I rebuke the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Glory, Hallelujah. Bring in the boob of God in the Jesus. Forgiving us the ability to rebuke the deal of the devil. Rebuke Satan. Lord, You Ooh. said that we can step on the Lord, Jesus. You've given us that authority. In the name of Jesus, we do these things. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For the gifts that you brought. Oh, thank you. We'll call them neighbors, God. Let this go forth and touch many lives. 
people that's been abused, these females that's been abused, that's been watching this and listening to this service. Ask you, God, that you'll just set them free from that that hurt and pain, God, in the name of Jesus. If they're still in that situation, like set them Jesus free, God. Stripes, we are Jesus. healed. And we are Jesus. healed. We are healed. In the name of Jesus. We are healed. Everybody that's watching on all these other nations of Pakistan and Egypt and India and all these other nations and all through the Middle East and the whole world that's watching God I ask you to touch them, God, in the name of Jesus. And just send a mighty massive revival in the name of Jesus. Call the nations in to revival this here church. In the name. Call the nations in to revival this here church in the name of Jesus. We call the nations in in the name of Jesus. We call the nations in in the name of Jesus. We are coming into a time where it will be very hard for Christians to profess their faith. We have to be strong. No matter what happens to us, we will be strong in our faith. We can never disavow Jesus. When we are saved and our sins are redeemed, that is what will give us life forever. And know that when we become a Christian and born and born again, we were just, heaven is your home. We are just visiting here. This is not our permanent home.
I know that you will take care of these things for me. In the name of Jesus, it will be done. It is already happening. Just as children go to their parents with immediate needs, we can go to the Father because Jesus saved us. He paid the price. We can go to the throne with our needs and know that God will take care of them for faith. God's giving some of you watching an uh, intercession for your nation and for your city. Lord, hallelujah, you're going to intercede. He's going to send the Bible to your nation, to Pakistan. He's sending their Bible. Some of you just watching, you're going to have an intercession that's going to hit you for that nation. You just intercede for that nation. He's going to send a wave of revival to that nation and, and to India. He's going to send a huge harvest of lost souls that revival is going to break out in, in, in India and Pakistan. Miracles and signs and waters is going to flow and people's going to get born again and baptized in the Holy Ghost. Lord, hallelujah. You have to humble yourself Lord. and pray and seek His faith face and this revival will happen. Lord, they will come across the land. It will come across the land in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God says he's bringing the harvest and the revival to your church. He's drawing the souls in. Don't get dismayed. Don't get discouraged. He's bringing the lost souls in. The revival is your church. Just keep hanging in there. Keep hanging in there and be faithful. People are listening and they're watching. They're curious. And he's going to even stoke that curiosity in them. And they're going to come in and revival us here, church. He's going to bring in the harvest, says God. God says that he's going to bring in the harvest. His face will be filled with people. He's going to bring them in. Don't be dismayed. Don't get discouraged. He is bringing them in. You keep being faithful what God has called you to do. Glory. Hallelujah. Now receive that word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Woo. Glory, hallelujah. Bring in the harvest. Glory, hallelujah. Bring in the harvest. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody's eyes being healed right now in the name of Jesus. 
to hear a fear of a lot of years being touched or how we can feel tingling or something in the right ear or how you can touch you know, someone there with the condition of their stomach that they have problems lay your hands over your stomach Jesus is bringing to you the healing right now right now in the name of Jesus If you're watching and listening, God just prompt me to do this. If you want to get born again, you got that hunger in your heart. You got a hunger. Repeat this after me. And know it, mean it, and have faith. No doubt, have faith. Repeat this after me. Dear Jesus, come into my heart. Come and live inside of me. Be the Lord of my life. I confess and accept that you died on the cross and rose from the dead. And send it to heaven for me. I repent of all of my sin. Wash me with your blood. Make me a new person, a new creature. Make the old person that I was be done away with. Make me a new creature. Write me in a book of life. Now that I'm born again, I ask you to baptize me with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues right now in the name of Jesus. And help me send that revival everywhere I go in the name of Jesus. Amen. And just start speaking in time. Hallelujah. You have to open your mouth. You, you actually have to physically open your mouth, but God will fill it with tongues. Speak in tongues right now. Don't be embarrassed. Let it flow. Yes. Let it flow. Let it flow. One service here. Repeat that prayer. Someone got baptized in the Holy Spirit for the first time. Spoke in tongues for the first time. So you just speak in tongues in the name of Jesus.